A new week means a new wing. It's ready to go for us. Let's knock on the door. The curator guards the menagerie, home to Azeroth's most exotic creatures. Beyond lie the master's chambers and the portal to save Medivh. Well, we do need to save Medivh. He did get horribly sucked into that portal. So the menagerie. The curator is releasing the menagerie. We shall need to fix it. Passive hero power. Your hero has taunt. Okay. So can the Black Knight destroy him? <laughs> The Black Knight? I think it does. So probably not. Malfurion versus the Curator. Do not touch the displays. I must protect the wild. Well, got to turn one play. Got to turn two play. This Curator is equipped for menagerie management. Um, that's not a beast. How many beasts do we have in this deck? I didn't run the scarabs in here. God, I, I'm sure there's a couple, but there's not that many. I mean, it can still be a plus two, plus two regardless, but I don't think we really want it without more beneficial effect. I guess we'll take Savage Roar as a potential closer. Oh, well, I'm happy with how this is going so far. This curator is allergic to beasts. The Ugh. curator is confused. You'll need to stop it before it releases everything. Oh, that's a gross one to get. Ugh. I mean, uh, I guess we gotta go big. For the wild, feel my wrath. So unfortunately, the Sunwalker is gonna have to die a painful death here, but it's about the best I got. Please comply with all gallery protocols. Bring me steel. Worked out okay, though. Um, so that's another option as well. How do we want to do this? I don't really know that I care about the swordsman all that much. Unfortunately, our poor, poor Sunwalker is a little beat up. Savage Roar is an option if we just want to clear out the 4-2 without anything having to die. Hmm. Weirdly enough, I think I'm going to do this. This is kind of strange, I know. But Justice shall prevail. Well, that's that's fine. <laughs> Should die anyways. So we're a little short on cards by playing this this way, but we can kind of redraw with this. So this is just the thing we get now. We get tail swipes, but that's okay. Guests must remain inside the menagerie. Handle it! Hmm. 
We'll just do this the simplest way. We'll go here. We're gonna give up a little bit of damage here, I think. No, I'm not. Gold face. <laughs> I lied about the damage. No more dragon droppings. That's a good one for us. Okay. Now we have to bad manners again, so we'll do... Oh, that's right, he has taunt. I can't even hit his stupid minions if I wanted a bad manner. Well, fine, we'll do this then. Kill your minion. We have to Savage Roar. We should definitely hero power. Should probably do this too. Now we can go three and four and ten. All right, then. A little tweak here, and good as new. Ah, the Zubot. They're referring to animals, of course, but there's also a decent chance that uh, a lot of more aggressive decks are going to be running this card, like Zoo. Because it's not too hard to get one of each of these in there, you know? Like, pretty easy. And then the Menagerie Warden... I haven't been playing a ton because I was gone for a week, so I don't know how much this has gone nuts since this wing came out a couple days ago as of when we're recording this. But it's kind of set up to just have nutso combos with, like, the Stranglethorn Tiger, for example, which you would play on turn 5. And then on turn 6, you drop this, and you have two 5-5s five with stealth and another 5-5. Five five. It's pretty good. I don't know if Beast Druid is going to take over or anything, but between that and the early game thing that lets you get the plus two, plus two and draw a card, it does kind of curve out pretty well. I guess we'll see. 